everyone welcome back i hope you guys are doing well so um today's video is going to be a full face of makeup using just nyx because if you've seen my facebook live you must have seen all of the products that i got and you guys wanted to see them on my face so i have the full box here with me with all of the stuff and i'm not sure what i'm going to do today but i think i'm just going to play with all of the makeup and just see how it looks like and i think this video is going to be really chatty because i want to talk to you guys while i'm doing it and uh, yeah so if you guys would want to see all of the products how they look on and how they feel and how they go on then keep on watching so I just blow dried my hair. My fringes look good, but I have to put them away because I'll be doing my makeup. So, oh, by the way, I'm loving this brush. It's the wet brush. And I think it's so much better than the Tangle teaser. So much better. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to clip it away like that. And put the rest of the hair behind my ears that's what I usually do um, so I have all of the stuff here I think I'm gonna start with the base because I really want to try out their base products so I'm starting off with the primer first this is the shine killer primer you can use this before makeup you can use it on top of makeup or you can just use this use this on its own and I'm just going to take like so much it's like a clear silicone primer oh by the way all of the glitter fell off from my ring finger and my nails look ugly now it feels very smooth now I'm going to wear foundation and this one is the HD Studio Photogenic Foundation and this is in the shade Natural. I hope this suits me. I mean, it, it looked like it is my color last time I swatched it on my hands. I've never worn it on my face. So, what am I going to use? I think I'm going to take my Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques and then I'm just going to dot the foundation all over my face I really like doing that the primer has made my face super duper smooth like the foundation is just gliding on and I think the foundation matches my skin tone and this foundation is supposed to be like for photography and it looks really good on camera like even on like HD camera and stuff so yeah Next, I'm going to take this palette, which is the Conceal, Correct and Contour palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here as my concealer underneath my eyes. This stuff is really thick. I'm going to take a little bit of that Salmon shade as well, just to correct the darkness. This is a little thick, needs the warmth of my hands. Next I have the Hydra Touch Powder Foundation. I'm going to use the same brush for the Hydra Touch Powder. Ooh, that's powdery. I just flicked a lot off. It's going to give me a little bit more coverage, I feel. Yeah, it is giving me a good coverage. Now moving on to eyebrows, I have three products. Uh, one is an eyebrow cake powder, which I, I, I'm not in the mood of using this today. Um, so I think I'm gonna try the Sculpt and Highlight, which is a brow contour, and I'm also going to try a push-up bra for your eyebrows. So I'm gonna use one on both the eyebrows. So let's start with the NYX Sculpt and Highlight. So this is the highlight end and this is the eyebrow end. My eyebrows are looking very shitty at the moment because I need to get them threaded. So I'm sorry in advance. And this is good, this is quite pigmented. So I'm just filling them in like so very naturally. Not shaping them or anything because 
they look hideous at the moment and then I'm just going to take a spoolie and brush it all out oh my eyebrows look really weird now I'm just going to use the highlight and ah, I like this I'm gonna try this one on the other eyebrow this one's slightly chubbier I'm just going to use the push-up end oh god this one is pigmented <gasps> so now I think I need a brush for this so I'm done with my eyebrows they look hideous I need to get them done I need to play around with the eyebrow products a little bit more once they look a little better okay so today i'm going to do my eyes last so it's time for me to contour uh, my face so this is the contour palette i'm really excited to use this and also this is their contour stick so what i'm going to do is i think use this first to define where i want the contouring and then go ahead and use this on top of that i think i'm going to go a little heavy with the contouring today and they also have a really nice um, highlighter which i want to use uh, this is the wonder stick and it has like a highlight lighter end which I loved it looked really good on my thumb the other day and this is the contour part so I'm just going to use this side which shade is this this is in the shade tan I forgot to mention The color is a little light but I think it would be great for like contouring my nose. It's very blendable. Love that. I really like it on my nose. It's very subtle. This is the contour palette and I think I'm going to use like this shade right here. Take a little bit of this to set the cream contour. That's dark. I realized that uh, NYX had a brush too, so I'm just changing it up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it this way. I'm gonna keep it a little bit more heavier than what I normally do. I hope it looks nice. They have this blush in rose gold, which I'm very excited to use. So, I'm just gonna take that and smile. I love the color of this blush. It's so pretty. Looks really nice and bronzy. Love it. So this is the highlighter. This is the NYX Illuminator in the shade Ritualistic. And yeah, here's my highlighter brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this because it's very pigmented. This is going to make it very dewy. That's it for now. I'm going to move into my eyes. So for my eyes, I'm thinking of keeping it very simple but yet a little bright. Uh, I'm going to use this eyeliner which is the Vivid Brights. Uh, which shade is this? I think this is Sapphire. Yeah, Vivid Sapphire. And uh, is that how you call it? Sapphire? Sapphire. Sapphire. Please comment down below. Oh, by the way, this looks good nice i like the contouring then i'm going to use the gel liner i've not used the gel liner in my live video and also i'm going to use a little bit of these eyeshadow from the dream catcher palette uh, this is in the shade golden horizon so i'm just going to take this matte shade right here and i'm just going to use that all over my eyelid just to neutralize it and set that uh, concealer we've used i really like the foundation it's so nice it will be perfect for like everyday use this brush is too small so once that's done i'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here and use that to create a little bit of a crease onto my crease 
just to add a little bit of like depth. So what I'm thinking is that since I'm wearing like a blue uh, shirt, I'll go for like a black winged liner on the outside and like a blue on the inside so it like transitions really well i don't know it seems really pretty in my head i hope it turns out pretty so i'm going to use an angled brush for the first time uh no i have one but i haven't used that much so let's see how this works and it's got a pretty nice tip can you see very nice thin sturdy tip so <gasps> Oh, that's soft. I ruined it. Just going to take a little bit here just so that I understand. Oh, that works well. I like this. So I'm going to draw the winged liner first. My hands are shaking today. I can't do this. Ha! <sighs> So I've got like half of it in black. Now I'm going to apply the blue liquid liner uh, on the inner corner. I'm literally sweating and shaking. I need to calm down. <laughs> oh God, this is scary. So now I'm just going to take this, shake it up. Something like this. I think I'm just going to blend this part well. I think I'll just let that set for a bit and then I'm gonna put one more layer just to make the color a little bit more vibrant. I think that looks good. I like it. I have a purple mascara as well. Should I like try like purple on the bottom? I think I wanna go a little bit more blue on the outside. Yeah, something like this. Just leaving some strokes so that it transition well. I wish I had like one more blue shade that would create like a really good transition. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and I'll do that off camera because this is nerve wracking. I have this purple uh, mascara so I just realized that I can use this too as a liner so I'm just going to take a little bit of that mascara and take that onto the liner. I don't know how it'll look but yeah, I don't know, should I? Let's try on this eye. Yep, I think this gives a really nice transition. There's also this blue pencil. So it's like a shiny indigo blue. I'm just gonna tight line using that. I don't know if I should use anything on my like lower lash line. A little bit, I guess. Just to pull the look together. Just the slightest bit. I'm too scared to ruin this look. Um, I think the eyes look really nice. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter onto the inner corner. I'll take this shade right here from the palette and use that in the inner corner. And then I'm going to use this mascara, which is the Propel My Eye Mascara. The mascara is now very volumizing, but it separates the eyelashes really well. I'll definitely be needing like two or three coats. I might go in and apply a little bit brown eyeshadow onto the outer corners once the mascara sets. I'm just going to take this eyeshadow 
and use that underneath just to define the lower lashes. That's about it and now I think I'm going to take that uh, finishing powder in translucent and apply that all over my face. I definitely want to go with something nude so I have the shade uh, Sandstorm in the liquid suede lipstick and then I also have the shade London. Let's try Sandstorm. This is what the um, wand looks like. It's too light. Oh, that's so light. I think it will look good with like a smoky eye, not with this. This is too light. Uh, let's try London, I guess. I have a full throttle lipstick in the shade 09. It looks orange. Should I try like an orange lip? Or will it be too much? That's too much. I think I'm just going to go with London. So yeah, I think this is the finished look. I love the blush. I think the blush and the contour is on point. I also really like the way I experimented with my eyes. I think it goes really well with the t-shirt or the top that I'm wearing. I had a little bit of a trouble trying to find a perfect lipstick for this look but I think this turned out perfect like a very nice everyday sort of look still a little bold with the electric blue on my eyes but I really like it and I'm so happy that my bangs are hiding my eyebrows right now because my eyebrows are just shit at the moment let me know if you guys like this look in the comments down below i'd love to talk to you guys let me know if you've got anything from nyx and what are you looking forward to so yeah that's all for this video don't forget to give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and you can also follow me on my twitter and my instagram and my facebook and snapchat uh, to keep up with everything that goes behind the scenes and i'll see you guys soon Bye.